Guys, welcome to another Red Gaming Tech video where we're going to be taking a look at Scary Girl. Now, to be honest, I don't know much about this game. Um, I saw it on Steam and I thought it looked quite interesting, so I, I got it overnight and um, it's installed and so on. And I went to the options menu and the first thing is that it doesn't actually run 720p or basically any widescreen resolution. 1280 by 1024 is pretty much the closest I can get. It also runs in... Uh, I think 1024 by 768 and 800 by 600. I don't think it does 640 by 480. I could be wrong, but it does not do 720p. True. Um, so that's a pretty big problem at the moment. I did a bit of googling, and since the game's so new, there's no actual solutions for it. As far as I can see, yet maybe by the time the video is up, it'll be different. I did have a quick look at some of the game's config files, and I haven't found a way to do it manually. So I apologise. It's not my fault the video looks like that. Anyway, um, I generally don't like to kind of look at the games too much before I um, buy them because it doesn't... Basically, that means that I'm not um, biased one way or the other. So anyway, we're going to start a new Scary game. Girl was awoken by a loud knocking coming from outside her window. Blister describes his findings of large dead leaves found on the beach. He asks Scary Girl to seek out the Tree of Knowledge and investigate as to why these leaves are being found. Now, Our journey I do quite like the, the graphical stylings. And I have a, a lot for this kind of thing. Her adventure. I'm not exactly... Um, a massive fan of the style, but I'm a pretty big fan, and stuff like Alice in Wonderland, the game I'm referring to, obviously, a pretty awesome. Ooh! Apparently, her limbs are extendy, and she can roll by pressing B. She can jump. I'm not sure why it does. Oh, apparently, it's like a, a different thing. Oh, she can fly, apparently. I'm just randomly pressing buttons on the controller. I'm assuming that's a shield. Um, Okay, so there's two flight buttons, and that one does nothing. I don't know what the differences are between them, and I don't know what these orbs do, but uh, I cannot smash them. Okay, anyway. Ooh! I really like the way the camera moves. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Press and hold the jump button to hover through the ah. air, light and heavy attacks to defeat foes. Okay. Awesome. Right. So far, quite liking it. I have to admit, the fact that is really awesome. Oh, actually, apparently, no. Oh, I see. No. Oh, I was just, I was mistaken about the buttons. I'm sorry. I was actually just holding the jump bar. Anyway, um, as I was sort of saying, I really like the style so far. The fact that it's four point. Um, 4 by 3 shall I say. It's quite irritating. Oh, awesome. Apparently we can... Yeah, we can combo these people. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Bitches don't know about my combos. There we are. Quite like the roll as well. I wonder if we can... Uh, so you can just stop any time in your roll and... You can't stop... Oh, you can't even stop to attack. Awesome. Sort of. Not really. But you can You can actually stop any point to do that. I don't know if that's a shield. I'm assuming it's a shield. I really love the graphical style, I must admit. Up you go. The music's actually pretty awesome as well. The black weed. And quickly pull it from the ground to prevent it from growing back. I see. I'm not doing that great with the not getting hit for me. And it's kind of nice how you just stop like dead. Kind of like that. I will say the environments are beautifully illustrated. And for some reason, I don't know if you guys have ever played it, um, 
but if you know um, Kingdom Hearts uh, on the PlayStation 2 and other consoles as well, but I've not really played the PS2 versions of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, and a little bit of Rechain of Memories, I think, um, you'll probably know the level Hollow Bastion, and it somewhat reminds me of Hollow Bastion. It's actually really awesome. I like, I love the art style. It's really nice. I'm getting uh, 30 frames per second. Wandering deeper into the night in the haunted owl forest. The yeah, yeah, I think you get the general gist. So, you're getting close to 30 frames per second. There was a lack of graphical options. Huh. Oh, I see. I'm not quite sure how I did that, if I'm honest. Is it? It's just going to bug me. How do I do that? No, not me. Oh, I see. So if you did want to go high, you can. Awesome. Okay, I get you. It's actually quite nice. I like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, side face. Yeah. Call me a... Call me a, a weird person, but I really love the morbid music. In fact, for some reason... Oh, it's not... No, not quite, but... It reminds me ever so slightly of the music from uh, World of Warcraft, Terracore Forest, I think it was. Anyway, I really like the music. Um, it might not be to everyone's taste. In fact, the cold game's probably not to everyone's taste, but I'm really liking it. Um, it's a really big shame about the 4x3 thing. To be honest, I don't remember if on the Steam page it warns you about that. Um, I don't think it does, but to be honest, I wasn't really reading the description that well, because the game's fairly cheap. What the hell is going on? Well, this is just... Uh, weird. First, let's learn how to perform combos. Try using a combination of light and heavy attacks to perform a 10-hit combo. So, X. Okay, awesome. Good. You'll notice enemies can be hit into the air with certain attacks. Use a heavy attack on the hedgehog to launch them and continue to attack them while they are in the air. Oh, we can grab them air stuff. juggle a hedgehog three times before it hits the ground. Hmm, that's actually harder than it looks, believe it or not. If I don't jump up after them. Oh, I see. You don't have to jump up after them. Hmm, this is somewhat irritating. Maybe. Oh, I see. Maybe not. Ah, you get it. Excellent job. Let's move on to grapple attacks. <laughs> Grab a stunned enemy and hurl it at the target. Destroy all of the targets to proceed. What in the hell? Okay, one bomb. Okay, this is actually somewhat simple. There we go. Fantastic. Now try grappling an enemy and using him as a weapon. Grapple an enemy and perform a light attack to smash them into another well, enemy. That was an accident. 
That's fine. I think we get the point off to the one, to be honest. I really hate when games make you continuously do something over and over again. Okay, I didn't actually read that. Oh, LT. One, two, three. Okay, fair enough. Not exactly the most in-depth of tutorials, but I feel it didn't go on too long. I do quite like the Zelda heart system actually on top of the left. It's gonna make putting the owl. It's gonna make figuring where to put the logo quite interesting. I assume it'll probably have to be top right. Okay. Oh, we can actually buy moves. Awesome. Um, okay. I'm actually poor and I cannot buy Buckus. And I can just squeeze. I'm not quite sure how you do that. It doesn't actually say. Oh, B. So while I've got them, I squeeze them. Awesome. the question. I'm assuming I'll probably have to... No, go away. Twinkling objects indicate items that Scary Girl can swing on. Oh, I see. Oh, awesome. Filling your rage meter allows you to temporarily transform Scary Girl into an unstoppable force. Can any enemies feel scary in the meter? When it is full, it will turn red. Superpowered. Activate scary mode, Professor LB. Okay, well, she's definitely superpowered. Interesting. Not exactly a unique mechanic, but quite a nice one. I have to admit, I am one of those people that I really like to collect all the goodies. I'm sure these things have wronged me in some way or another. That will be my... Stop going back or I'll kill you. Well, actually, I'll kill you regardless, but... That was somewhat morbidly satisfying, I won't lie. Now, I'll be honest, a game like this... Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Whoa! I'll be, I'll be honest, a game like this is obviously going to appeal to some people. Um, obviously, it's not going to... Use L to pick the path. Interesting. Do we go to the low road? Well, I'll tell you one thing, we are going to get those at the least. Yeah. And then we'll go. Uh, yeah, I see. I'll almost like to go the high road. I feel that's the best option. Hey, you don't mind if I just clobber your friend with that. Oh, I can clobber you with that as well. And then I'll drain you all of life. That's far too satisfying, I will admit. Why do I have a feeling I chose the harder of the two paths? I don't know why. Whee! Um, I quite like the music, it's not intrusive. Ooh, dang, son. I 
quite like the music, it's not intrusive, it's very fitting of the mood, the bleak and um, kind of gothic look. I really approve. Ow! That was very uncool, dude. And I have to admit, it's one of those games, I mean, some of the games that I play, um, I won't mention names, but uh, some of the games I do for you guys, I don't particularly like that much. I mean, you know, I try to be objective as I'm playing them because obviously um, it's unfair to give personal opinions um, as objective as much as I can. Well, obviously, all reviews are somewhat uh, um, opinion based, but you know, you try to be objective as I can. But I can say that this game's really fun. It's a massive shame, and I've mentioned it a couple of times now, but it's a massive shame about the fact it only supports 4x3. Fortunately, of course, it is on the PC. Or well, unfortunately, depending on your perspective on this one. Um, and it should, I have no doubt, be patched, but way, yay, yay, yay. There we go, I'm using some blocking skills. Um, and so I assume it's either going to be fan-made patches or an official patch at some point. Um, you know, we could be waiting a couple of weeks for it. If you're one of those gamers that this kind of thing really bugs, um, I don't know if I should even have tempted that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh no! Although it does give me an interesting look at how it handles the. The... Now, let me just drain you of all your health, thank you. Alright, it does actually replenish my I'm going to attempt to try that again. I don't necessarily know if I'll be more successful, but I'll try it again. Oh, you son of a bitch. I was all skillful in injury and then more. You know what? Just for that. Dude, don't take this the wrong way, but you are a pain in the ass. She's quite an interest. Really? She's quite an interesting character, actually. Um, I quite like it. Wait. Not at all, son. Not at all. Yeah, I'm just going to do a simple approach. I feel that's a lot better for my sanity. Um, let's see. Oh, a blinky pad. A staple of platformers since, well, a long last time. And we can't helicopter after it, so it's just good to know. Ow! What the hell, son? Okay, we actually have a hundred of these things, and the greens are five. I kind of like the fact. There we go. I need, definitely need that health. Ah, so there are actually just regular health pack pickups. It's quite nice. Oh, really? Yeah. I really love doing that. I, I don't know why. It's far too fun. Um, let's see. Boing, 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 boing. Kind of reminds me of playing a piano. I love, don't actually know how to play a piano, but... If I could, it would sound like that, damn it. So, it's up to be that guy and that guy, although I did try to rinse him of health, so that wasn't too ideal. Not, not this time. I'm just going to kill you. You know what? I'm not even taking a risk. I'm just going to rinse you of life. Alright, I must be going up their nest, I'm assuming. They're getting, definitely getting butthurt over my presence. Uh, I, 
crush you and devour your soul. Oh, yummy owl. I'm, on, keep, I'm continuing to play because I'm curious if there's actual boss fight. I'm assuming maybe I just haven't gotten far enough. That's just... I don't know. He's going to rinse his life as well. I should have really used him as a club on this part, but still. Ah, I'm assuming that guy's a boss. Yeah, I'll just hold on to you. I'll see how long I can hold this guy for. Holy crap, we're going high. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming by the fact of all the fish. Oh, we. That was not quite what I had in mind. Hi. Ow! Oh, so it's one of those bosses. Interesting. Well, I do have some health here, so I might as well pick it up. So it's one of those bosses that isn't actually a boss. Kind of reminds me of a Mario boss somewhat. Well, it's not the trio. There we are. Uh, I don't know how many hits that was, around six, I'd guess. It wasn't exactly a boss of sorts, it was kind of a mini gate, if you will. And now we are jumping into a sparkly thing. I do really love the Pseudo 2D, um, 2.5D, shall I say. And also, I very much like the art style, the fact, you know, you go into the background and. It's sometimes a little bit disorientating to actually know what the enemies are. Like for a second, for example, when I first saw those owls, I actually thought they were just kind of interesting, but not anything to concern myself with, and then I got smacked on the head, and I was like, oh, okay, then fair enough. But, I do really... Ooh, this level looks a really nice style. I was about to call it, actually. But because this level looks so different, I think I'll uh, show it off just to see what the graphics engine can actually do on it. It's a bit different. quite nice to see it on a different it's actually quite nice to show something different so let's have a quick look at this the music's changed as well to something less or somewhat less gloomy All of these things are very Tim burton -esque. Uh, I went down last time. I went up last time. Can we go down? Can we go down? Can we go down? Yes, we can. I don't trust those things, I must confess. I suppose at the very least, the fact that you can actually... Yeah, I really didn't trust those at the best of times. Um, I don't necessarily know if either path is optimal, so to speak. Yeah, I don't trust those. Either. They look far too cute, and therefore they must be threatening. That's my logic. However, I seem to have wrong. There we are. Now, I don't know if there's an optimal path for this, as in... Like, for example, if I was to have gone up, I would have got more goodies or something. Um, I suppose you could actually technically backtrack those, so you could actually visit all of it if you really so desired, but um, in this case, I won't bother. Hi, how do you like clocks? Ah, 
travelling merchant, I think. Ah, there we go. We've got a pogo to take him out. Okay. Use the enemy. That could be quite interesting. These are really expensive. Fish is probably the cheapest. The cheapest. I've no idea why I said that. Um, they are definitely the cheapest. Uh, I'm gonna get the pogo attack. Oh crap! I'm out by just a few points. I didn't realise. Damn it. Can I ninja a few points? But Mar, I wanted. But meme. Man, I really wanted the pogo attack. Well, I'm not going back there. That's the massive ass wall that's just been erected in my honor. It would be great. See, I can almost guarantee that this is where that pogo attack would have been infinitely useful. It was not to be, however. I'm probably going to really regret having insufficient points for that. See, now, ironically, I have more than... Really? Son! Dangerous! Almost forgot about my health, to be fair. You know that move reminds me, I knew that move looked very familiar, it kind of reminds me of Jeddah from Darkstalk, because he has a, I think a throw, means forward to back, and I believe a punch, it's been a long time since I played Darkstalkers, but it's a very similar throw. I very much approve. I'm actually really looking forward to a new Dark Store this game. Uh, no, I don't want to pay money, you silly people. I can crush people on, you know, still assaults. So it's a much more efficient way of going about things. I wonder if we can go up here out of pure curiosity, so... You know, I wasn't sure if that bridge connected. I didn't think it did, but always worth checking these things out. Apparently, we could actually go back on the plane as well, which is quite interesting. So my theory is correct. So, if you guys wanted to, um, you know, maximise your points, that would be the best way. Just basically go the opposite route as you just came. So... I do actually have full rage, so I suppose we could see that one more time. Be warned. I don't seem to be able to disable the mode. I was curious about that. But you don't seem to be able to disable it once it's enabled. So it's, I think on God of War you could turn it off whenever. It's been a while since I played it. Ooh, look, another checkpoint. I have a feeling if I go to get those, I'm going to be stuck. Now let's go up this time. The shiny gem is attempting me. Plus as well, we get to see this really cool waterfall, which is nice. Do I get swept into oblivion? No, I don't. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Die, Moose. Okay. So, anyway, I feel that we showed the game fairly well, I've demonstrated it to you guys. Um, so my final thoughts. Well, it's bloody fun. If you're into this kind of 2D platform, or 2 and a half d platform, depending on how technical you want to be, then you'll definitely like it. If you're into something a bit zany, you're going to like it. On the other hand, if you're not a massive fan of the gothic style, it's probably not going to do much for you. It might get a bit repetitive or old. Um, I mean, the graphical styling, not the gameplay so much. Um, finally, I would say if I was uh, the kind of person to give it a, you know, number score, which I'm not, because obviously these are only first impressions. Uh, I would immediately knock down a few marks because of the four x three. 
Uh, the game would absolutely be beautiful in full aspect ratio. I mean, for starters, obviously, you'd see a lot more on screen. Um, so that would be really nice. Uh, it would especially be nice, for example, if it supported 1080p, which is, of course, the native resolution of my screen and you know, quite a lot of other screens out there. It runs flawlessly. I have not had any slowdown. My eye does occasionally pop over to the top left where my frame per second indicator is, which also indicates the game's recording for me. So that's great. But, yeah. I thought. Um, so yeah, everyone, scary goal. I feel that's an awesome place to call it. So yeah, check it out. Hopefully they'll release a patch very soon. Um, but either way, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please rate, subscribe, comment, and you know the drill. So take care, and bye for now.